What's up guys, it's Dallas from Softmodder, and today I'm going to show you an all-encompassing, ever-present search mod. Now this video is meant to complement the article I wrote about this over at wonderhow2.com, so please check that out by clicking the link in the description below. This soft mod is made possible by the work of development team Digital Life International and their app Search Now. So to get that installed, head to the Play Store and search Search Now, now. But yeah, as soon as you fire this one up the first time, you get a handy little tutorial overlaid on the screen. It highlights the search button, which is the central feature of this app. You can simply tap it to search, or you can drag it around the screen to position it to your liking. You can also long press the search icon to make it go away temporarily. So now that all of that's understood, I'll tell it OK. So you might think, well, where's the app? This is it right here. It just sits on top of whatever it is you're doing for easy search access. But it's not just Google search, it's everything on your phone and the web. Let's hit up settings, which is the first thing you should always do with a new app. Right up top, there's an option for changing the web search engine. Why you would use Yahoo or DuckDuckGo over Google is beyond me, but if you do, there's an option for it here. Next is the search source settings. In here, you can remove things you don't want this app searching, and you can reorder the items so that your search results are organized to your liking. Back out of the main settings page, you can also toggle stuff like search history and auto start. If you disable the floating point entry, the button over here goes away, which is really the main purpose of this app, so don't do that. Also, you should leave this stay in notification setting on, because otherwise the app might get cleared from memory. This point size entry lets you change the size of the little floating search button. Default is 50, but I want it a little smaller than that. Next is point alpha, which refers to the transparency of the search bubble. The lower you go, the more transparent it gets. I'll jack this all the way down so the button isn't very intrusive in other apps. So now that it's all set up, we can see it in action. I'll back all the way out so you can see what it looks like from the home screen. No matter what you do, this button will be here, ready for quick access to pretty much any information your phone has on it or can get. Start searching something, and it uses all of its resources to find relevant results. It's got stuff from the web up top. Then it has my installed apps, even bookmarks, contacts, system settings, media, and calendar entries. So anything you want to bring up can be done with the tap of a button from any screen, making navigating your phone easier than ever. But yeah, be sure to check out that link for the full breakdown. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, guys. But until then, happy soft modding.